Dim sum. It's the Chinese version of small plates. The word literally means touch the heart, and the cuisine's dishes are meant to please diners' palates. The recent opening of Yum Cha, a new East Side spot that serves dim sum, made us want to take a closer look at the cuisine. Eating dim sum can be challenging for folks who aren't familiar with the practice, especially when you're staring at a bowl of chicken feet or a thousand-year-old egg. Paul Lee, co-owner of Yum Cha on the New East Side, and Eddie Chung of Phoenix and Chinatown take us through the process from beginner to pro. I don't think the people are intimidated by dim sum. It is, uh, I think, uh, something that they have never heard or never tried. Uh, they might have heard of it, but they've never had an opportunity to try it. The uh, flavors that are composed in dim sum small plates are very, uh, very traditional food, like chicken, shrimp, pork, vegetables. Dim sum consists of steam, fry, uh, deep fry, and bake. It all consists of all kind of cooking, but all small portion though. First up, some advice for beginners. Hagao, or shrimp dumpling, as it's called, uh, is made out of uh, shrimp, or pure shrimp, and they uh, season it, and they wrap it up in a rice dough that is steamed. Shu Mai is a steamed dumpling made of minced pork, shrimp, and dried shiitake mushrooms. A sweet barbecue pork can be stuffed into a steamed bun or baked in a flaky pastry. If you've already tried dim sum a few times, here's what to tackle next. Kanji is what we call porridge, in, your, in other words. It's rice soup. They put the beef, they could put chicken. The fried taro ball is a, a, a really a, an unusual thing. Uh, nobody knows what taro is. It's a very, uh, a very tasty uh, root vegetable. From there, it goes up to pretty uh, more exciting things and then more exotic things. Chicken feet. Now that is an exotic dim sum. Uh, a lot of people have heard about it, but they won't try it because it's, it takes a little of, uh, uh, it takes a little overcoming the visual of, a, of eating a chicken feet. It's a dish with just a little meat, but a lot of flavor. A tougher sell is the thousand-year-old preserved egg. It's not really cured for a century, but it might look that way. A lot of the dim sum places will have pictures and have carts that goes around. And dim sum is a, it's a journey of visual and matching up with the flavors. Yeah.